Hello there, doing something a bit different. Been uh, playing around with spray paints on this wall as you can uh, as you can see. You may have seen uh, the previous video, but what I'm gonna do today is something, as I say, something a little bit different. I wanted to work with stencils, layer up some stencils, do black, gray, white, maybe a few grays, maybe a five or six layer stencil. It's quite fiddly. So some of the stencil designs that I started creating on GIMP were, as I say, they were quite fiddly and the idea of cutting them out of paper uh, or cutting them out of uh, any sort of vinyl or something to tack onto the wall in order to spray over became quite daunting so I didn't really want to be cutting out really really fiddly bits of shadow and fiddly bits of design. Maybe one day I will and in fact I'm pretty sure that one day I will but for now I just wanted to try a two-tone design and use one of these paint markers instead. So I've been back onto graphcity.com, got a few more spray paints for future projects, a few more colours, but today I'm just going to be using this. It's a on-the-run paint marker, professional artist tool. It's quite thick, no idea how it's going to look against the wall, I'm hoping it's going to be a white that pops. The design that I'm going for is one of a chimpanzee. Why not? I thought I'd go for a chimpanzee. So what I've done is I've turned this image that I've got off Google and I've turned it into a black and white two-tone would-be stencil design and this is what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to transfer that onto here using a projector. So rather than use a stencil, I'm going to transfer this design that I've, I mean, I've not created, I've just messed around with the levels of, of, of an image that already exists. I certainly didn't take a photograph of the chimpanzee. Uh, my chimpanzee wouldn't sit still long enough. So I am just going to project it onto this wall and I am going to go over it with this marker and we'll see what it looks like. First of all though, as you can see, there are some bits of brickwork coming through where I've not painted this wall very, very well. And due to the fiddliness of the design, I'm gonna want to have a completely back, back, blah, I'm gonna want to have a completely black background so that the white pops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray over this area in some black spray paint. So that's the first step. So while that's drying, as it looks a bit patchy at the minute, oh, the first time I've tried cutting my own hair, I tried to give myself a bit of an undercut. It's a bit shorter than I wanted it anyway, less about the hair. I've acknowledged it now, let's move on. So I'm going to try this, I'm going to test it in my little testing area over there, see how this writes, and that'll help me know how I'm going to use it for the image that I'm going to project. Now I've sort of used paint pens like this before, and I know that you have to press them into the surface that you're writing on for the paint to start flowing. This is quite big, this is bigger than any I've used before, so I'm guessing there might be a bit of a gush, there might be a bit of a drip. Oh, it's coming. I just thought I'd show you the area, the full context of the area where it's going to go. There's the open sign that I did last week, there's my testing wall, and it's going to go here, that's where I've just painted. So that's just drying now. Uh, I'm gonna put the, the white ink pen on and see what happens. I don't think this is gonna turn out very well. I can always touch up the thicker bits of white with, with spray paint, maybe some tape. I don't know. Let's just let's just see what happens. Here yeah, we've got the projector set up. You can just see it there. That's the projector. Having this light on is not gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to see the projection at all. So we're just gonna set it up. Now, God, that looks pretty bad. It's not coming up very well on here. I think I can see it better in real life than, than you can see on this video, but this isn't going to be the best video, is it? It's not going to be the most entertaining. I'm going to time lapse it, so you don't have to watch me uh, fiddle around with all those fiddly bits for uh, a fiddly amount of time. We'll be done in 30 seconds. <laughs> Falling over. Right, so I've done some bits here. I'll just stay in the light here. I've done some bits. And that is an ear, hopefully you can tell it's an ear. And then there's bits of shoulder and bits of back and back of the head. Those are bits that if I got wrong, it's not the end of the world. I'm now gonna move on to the chimpanzee's face. And these are the bits where it's important that I get right, otherwise you won't be able to tell it's a chimpanzee. So I'll crack on. Now, I haven't got a clue 
what this is going to look like when I turn the light on and I turn the projector off. Because at the minute, that looks all right, but how much of that is the projector helping me out and how much of that is actual chimpanzee? I don't know. Let's have a look. And, yeah, do you know what? It's all right. I mean, you can tell it's a chimpanzee, can't you? It's all right. Pretty happy with it. I might, I might just go over with a pen now and touch it up, but... Yeah, let's have a proper look at it. This is a thing that I've seen other people do, so let's, just, let's see how rubbish it looks when I do it. So overall, I'm happy with that. Yes, I think that looks quite cool. But the main thing for me is that I think it strangely works well with the open sign. I don't know why. I've got no reason to link a chimpanzee with a newsagent open sign. Uh, but I just, I just think it looks quite cool. So what that has kind of inspired me to do is before I paint over this wall as planned and start again, I'm going to fill it. I'm going to see what I can fill it with. Some sort of cohesion. Maybe something there. Something there. I don't know. I'm going to turn it into a mural rather than a practice board. See what comes out. But yeah. Fairly happy with that one. Okay, well, thank you for watching. And if you have any ideas of what I should try next, spray paint, stencils, um, ink pens, paint, whatever, give us a comment and um, share this if you liked it. I don't, really, I don't really know. Just, just the stuff that people ask you to do when you watch videos. I've never really done this before. Uh, do all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you next week or whenever I do a new video. Cheers.